for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And all please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Our officer reports and comments. Look around the audience today. We have two of our row officers with us, both of whom uh, come from the financial wing of the operation. Uh, either controller Precify or Treasurer Rapone, do you have any anything to report above and beyond what's already on the agenda? Yeah. Nope. Oh, we did the roll. Roll call. Commissioner <laughs> Bell Here. Commissioner Bellbard. Commissioner Boyd. Here. We got yeah here here on all fronts. I got so excited to see you both. We, we jumped the uh, we jumped the agenda. It's a good thing, right? Uh, public comments. We have any member of the public here wishing to make comment? Gary, approach the bench. Um, yeah, right, yeah. Uh, first, I had requested a copy of the meeting minutes that will be approved today. And they're not available. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> um, I have a copy of a letter from the Secretary of State that was sent to all the counties. Um, uh, basically, it's recommending that they um, that the counties retain the 2020 election data. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, thank you. I just want to make sure you saw the letter and wanted to hear about what your action was on that. Yep. Um, then that is all I have. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, any other member of the public here wish to make public comment? Seeing none. <clears throat> Fiscal and contractual, we have no repository properties up for bid, right? Yeah. Um, no advertising for bids or proposals. Uh, we do have a receipt of bids or proposals for our broadband expansion services RFP. I believe that's why our controller is with us here today. Dave, how's everything going? Not too bad. How are you? Living the dream. <laughs> 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 So put them up, see what we got. Ah, uh, well, I just grabbed one. So I'm assuming this is three copies of the same one. It's from Michael Baker International. Wow. Four house in there and everything. We didn't get, we don't get that for the tree yeah. trimming bits. <laughs> <laughs> Not killing any trees. Nope. This is in, I guess, different years. Year one total was $536,740. Year two, $368,000. Year three, $474,440. Year four, 343,334, and year five, $460,000. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> take a look at that one. <laughs> but thank you. No problem. I will, uh, I'll, I'll take a motion, unless there's any questions or comments, to uh, refer this to the appropriate table and refer to the appropriate administrative officials. So the Second. We have a motion to second any further discussion. Here are none. Question the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Dave. No problem. All right. Uh, warrant registers. We have warrant registers from the 23rd, the 24th, <coughs> and the 26th of August. Um, give my colleagues a minute to check those over. Dan, you have, you have documents. I have the agenda, but uh, some of the supporting documents I do not have, and that includes uh, uh, the warrant register, which I'll abstain if I don't have them in front of me. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. I will second. A motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. 
Question on the motion. <laughs> All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed. Any abstentions? One abstention, please. All right, there we have it. Motion carries. More registers approved. Up next, we have for Tuesday, August 23rd, the minutes. And I'll get my calls and check those over. Take motion to approve. Comment. Dan, you have those? Again, I, I, I'm in the same position. Uh, again, I received some of the documents, but not all. That's, that's nobody's fault. But they were emailed to me. And uh, but since I don't have the minutes, I'm staying again. So. Yeah, no problem. I will make that motion to approve. Call second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question motion. All in favor? Please say aye. 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 All opposed, same side. Any abstentions? One abstention. All right. Motion carries. Thank you. Three presentations or written communication. Yep, three. Uh, one is from Three Rivers Aggregate in uh, or at the project name in West Pittsburgh, number two mine, permitting approximately 37.01. I like that they measure it down to the hundred. Uh, acre of non-coal surface mine on property three of the Niagara LLC. Uh, applicant, con applicant contact is Mark Fillion from RAR. Um, and site location proposed project is located approximately half a mile due south of West Pittsburgh, east of River Road, north of Blake Lane, and south of the Center Avenue Loop in Taylor Township. Next, we have an application in Wayne Township. Um, submit to DEP to obtain general permit GP11, a maintenance, testing, repair, rehabilitation, or maintenance of water obstructions and encroachments for the following project. Uh, application type new, applicant name is Wayne Township, contracted Samantha Laz Laszlo. Um, facility address is Greenhouse Road on uh, T448, again in Wayne Township, and the project is a bridge replacement. And last but certainly not least, um, we have a uh, similar type of situation, but in Wilmington Township, that same type of permit. Um, Tracy deals the contact there, and it's for the Means Road Bridge replacement or culvert replacement more accurately in, uh, in Wilmington Township. And I will note, um, as I always do, the Board of Commissioners does not have approval authority over these state issued permits. Um, we're only required to be notified by people applying for SID permits. Um, and again, have no red light or green light for you over this. So unless there's any questions or comments on any of those uh, correspondence items, I will take a motion to accept and file correspondence. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, question the motion. All in favor, please sit in front of saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Staff reports. We have any member of staff here that they've been reported above me on what's already on the agenda. Seeing none, Commissioner reports and comments. Loretta, you're on deck. Floor is yours. I have nothing. Thank you. I'm in the same boat you are. Dan, you have anything? Just very briefly, thank you for uh, allowing me to participate uh, by telephone. As, as Commissioner Boyd noted, uh, yesterday uh, there was a meeting of the Commonwealth Election Law Advisory Board that, that ran the entire day. And uh, I'm heading back uh, this morning. So that explains why I was not able to uh, give in person this morning, but my hope is to be there a week from today. But uh, thank you for permitting me uh, this format. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we will move to uh, the resolutions portion of the circus. Chris, what resolution are we on here? We are 258. 258. Uh, this resolution, do you have the resolutions in front of you or do you need, do you need me to read them? Yeah. No, no, I'm fine. You're good? Uh, this, res yeah. this resolution is relating to um, the installation of a fence out of Quaker Falls. Uh, original quote is for $1,286.82 for the replacement of two panels. Ah, this is Croton. This is our Croton Avenue. Mm. Um, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I read it. Um, Damage by fall and tree installation of ultra aluminum industrial style UAF flat top panels um, located at our, our, uh, our portion of the trail on Croton Avenue. Um, there's been an increase in the cost of materials and so the cost is increasing to $1,494.16 for the same project. Um, and we have Quaker Falls here, yeah. so we are killed yes. in one, yes. one stone um, with a price of $6,766 or $99 
and 48 cents for some for fence insulation out of Quaker Falls. Um, both quotes have been reviewed by county solicitor and county engineer. Um, total contract amount $8,293.64. This will come out of our Marcellus Legacy Fund. Questions, comments on that? Yeah, yeah. Just, just not to put too fine a point on it, is the, is the fence at Quaker Falls, does that not come from the safety grant? Yes, yes, and some of yeah, yep. Okay, and, and either way, you make the point, it doesn't come from a fund, it comes from two separate funds, so thank you. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for reminding me of the, uh, the safety grant. Any Anything else? Yeah. All right, I'll take a motion to approve 258. So moved. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, question the motion. Chris, please call, please call the roll. Commissioner Phil Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Up next, we have one of those rare resolutions that actually generates revenue for the county. Uh, Warden? Warden. How are you doing today? Good morning, sir. This is our Warden Superintendent slash many, man of many hats. Kind of corrections at the microphone. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm looking to uh, enter into an agreement with Hill County Jail to house their female inmates. It's identical to the one that you currently mm -hmm. utilize with Washington County. And again, it will generate uh, revenue to the county. Sounds good. Any questions, comments on that? Thank you. Thank you. Just additional job well done. Thank you. Thank you. We expect them to send any to us immediately. I will have to check with them this morning. I'll wait on to get this. Uh, I want everybody to know. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, excuse me. Unless there's any further questions, I'll take a motion to approve 259. <laughs> so moved. Uh, I'll second with just a very quick comment. Just, just to note, um, since this is a contract between two counties, that explains why the commissioners are taking action. Gordon, can you confirm that this issue or this matter was in fact discussed and reviewed and secured the consent of the entire prison board? Accurate. Yes, Commissioner. The uh, last prison board it was brought up and it was discussed. It's taking uh, everybody's aware of it. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, uh, Chairman Boyd. Yep, no problem. The motion is second. Any further discussion here? And none question motion. Chris, please call the roll. Commissioner Spillman. Yes. Commissioner Vogler. Yes. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thanks, Warden. Appreciate Thank it. You. Up next, we have Treasurer Rapone. For uh, congratulations on the 2000 work, by the way. I saw your post. Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you kindly. Good morning, uh, everybody. Nice to see you all. Chris, what do we have going on today? Okay. Uh, the Treasurer's Office is currently working on the creation of the 2023 Honey Task Force for Vendors. I'm happy to say that all 23 uh, county tax outreach revenues have been scheduled with our municipality, so that's all taken care of. So today we're here to get uh, an approval of the due date for the regular tax bill and the two interim bills for 2023 with the approach to the rest of the It's the nature of my business. Any uh, questions, comments on the resolution? Yeah. All right, I will take a motion to approve 260. So moved. Second. Your motion is second. Any further discussion during non question motion? Chris, please call the roll. Commissioner Spillman. Yes. Commissioner Bogler. Yeah. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Motion. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, Thank you sir. Up um, next, we have uh, Jen Elliott with LCSS, uh, Lawrence County Social Services, to talk about a uh, discussion of possible approval for current short rate increase from $22 to $24.20. Inflation rate might have something to do with this. Or? Yes, it does. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Amy and uh, Rebecca couldn't make it today. So oh, always a pleasure to see you. I um that's just a quick update. And what I'm here for is the community development block grant public services for the team program. So the update shows the type of beneficiaries and the total trips and the meals that have been provided by the county. Um, so yeah, we've tried tremendous efforts to keep our costs where it is, but we think the extra two dollars will be able to suffice for this fiscal year. Um, the county did apply for more funding and to extend the contract to May of 23. Gotcha. Um, any questions, comments on raising the rate? 
And I'll note, as, as, as yeah. I think it's important to note that this is this funding comes from either uh, emergency COVID dollars yes. or the uh, block grant. It's actually all, it's all emergency, emergency COVID dollars. Yeah, and LCSS is contributing as well. Perfect. So. Yeah, and you were going to, I think I might have interrupted you there. No, no, no. You asked a question, but I simply said no. Oh. Gotcha. How is the new pilot program coming along with that? With the uh, auto, uh, you mean the, oh the same day? Yeah, yeah, I thought you were talking about CMU. Um, so same day in July, they had seventy-five trips. So it's been going well, and Vanessa and her team's been able to accommodate those same days, and hopefully that's going to be a trend for us in the future. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy here. Additional job well done as always. Oh, thanks. Always. I'll take a motion to approve two sixty-one. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, question the motion. Chris, please call the roll. Commissioner Spillbogle? Yes. Commissioner Bogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, I am looking for the resolution. I might not have a packet <laughs> for the budget amendment and the transfer of funds. Of course, we might also not have it. I know Vanessa keeps the standard on the uh, on the agendas. Um, and we might not okay. have any of those. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. That's Which is 22-01. So we'll just okay. cross that off there. Go straight down to uh, administrative transfers. We have $20 here from contingency, Jennifer Nicholson's contingency to her subscriptions. Mm -hmm. um, my small increase in the cost of subscriptions. We put it down to the penny on those. Um, Jerry Cartwright um, moving $800 from his contingency account to his materials and supplies budget. Cover out through the rest of the year. I guess they're spending a little bit more there in terms of materials and supplies than originally the trend lines had projected. Rick Russo um, moving some land and building rental into electric. As I've explained before, we kind of put everything yes. in land building and a movement mm -hmm. as necessary. We should have a, a larger transfer next week to reflect the new uh, office building yes. for Rick. And then DA, we're moving contingency, 1500 bucks. Um, DA's contingency of criminal investigation to pay for uh, expert testimony in uh, one of the recent trials that took place up on the third. Any questions on any of those transfers? No. I'll take a motion to approve administrative transfers A through D. Send it. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. It's on the table for now. No ordinances. Uh, proposed for introduction of final action. Next commissioner's meeting will be September 6th, 2022 at 10 a.m. in the commissioner's meeting room. Courthouse will be closed on Monday, September 5th, 2022 in observance of Labor Day. I'm missing any announcements? Yeah. yeah. Um, any additional public comments this time? I have a question. What do you got? Uh, who is on the canvassing board for the elections? Who, who makes up that board for canvassing? Uh, Loretta and I usually are the um, mm -hmm. resolutions board. Is the yeah. resolutions board what you're talking about? After There's like six different. When you um, certify an election, that canvassing board? I didn't it's, know not a, there's, it's not a canvassing board, I don't think. Like, there's like it's just our election board. board because we certify. Maybe that, that's it. And it's the commissioners. Yeah, we've done that. Is that what you mean? I'm not I, sure. Well, I, I, from the state, I've heard the the term canvassing board, that those are the officials that approve or you know verify the election. Well, we have board of elections. There's a, there's a, there's a, Same. it has, it is here. Okay. Um, the only other, <coughs> bless you, bless you. the only other people that get sworn in would be just the election day workers, the people mm -hmm. that are processing mail and ballots okay. and et cetera. Yeah, other than that, we handle the yeah, just wanted to ask, it was the term that came up and I wasn't aware of. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything from my colleagues? No, sir. Oh, Debbie, you got something? What do you got? Frank, Barry's going to be happy you're fixing that fence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Frank is always happy when we throw some money towards maintenance. Yes. Anything for uh, Jenny? Anything? No. Chris? No. All right. We will adjourn Lawrence County Board of Commissioners. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Safe travels. Well, now I can use that picture I took of it. <laughs>